Right, we've got Gail on the line next. Um, good morning to you, Gail. Now, you lost a dog in 2006. Uh, you have three yeah. Border Collies, two which are 12 years old. And you're, you're just think anticipating the fact that you may lose another one and having to go through that all again. Yeah, um, I, Jess was just the most wonderful dog. And um, although it's 10 years ago, um, I just, I, I still miss her. But my biggest fear is I, I, I had to make the decision to have her put to sleep. She had gastroenteritis. Um, so it was very sudden. But my biggest fear is how am I going to deal with badger and moss? Um, I know. You know, going. Um, they, it was an overlap. They, they were a year old when, when uh, Jesse died. Um, and the, the old boy, Badger, is getting a bit rickety now. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite fearful um, of how I'm going to deal with it, Because you, be you know how it feels, you know what's That's coming. That's right, and they, yeah. they're so beloved. I've got a three-year-old border collie as well, and he's absolutely smashing. But, you know, just, um, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. It's the price of loving someone so much, isn't it? This that's the thing, and in a way, that's yeah. that's that's a good thing, isn't it? That you've had oh, that you love them so thing. much and that they love you. You're lucky that you you have that, I guess. You yeah. are. And um, Holly hit on the right word there. It's what you call anticipatory grief. Um, instead of enjoying what you've got, you're already planning for the future, sadly, and thinking about the inevitability. Um, the best thing I can say is make lots of memories and enjoy what you've got. Um, and as they do get older, there are things that you can do, sort of things like bucket lists, so that you're doing stuff that will bring you memories in the future. Yeah, I actually did that recently. We went on holiday somewhere that we, we you know, sort of uh, haven't been for a while. So, mm. and I'm doing that again beginning of December. So you're doing all yeah. the right things yeah. then, and just enjoy them <clears throat> now. Absolutely, enjoy, enjoy the fact them. they're there, and you can create all those memories because <laughs> uh, you know how difficult it might be. But you'd certainly rather they were still with you now than you'd never have them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. 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 And that's the most important thing. Uh, thank you for that call.